you see that? Missed it three times. I thought maybe there was a bed right away, but the fish pulled out away from there and stayed there and it kept hitting it. I had to drop that swim jig to the bottom before it'd pick it up. So that first fish there, might, that might be a good key that they don't want that fast horizontal moving bait. It's gotta be more of a vertical approach too. So we'll build off of that and see what happens. Another one right off the tip of the cattails. Okay, might have found something here. That's two quick fish next to the cattails. One hit it moving, one hit it on the bottom. So that's a good sign. There's a mixture of moods going on here. Ooh, we got a dull hook. This jig's caught a lot of fish the last couple of trips. So we're gonna take it off and put a fresh jig on there. Got my swim jig and chatterbait box here. It's a little breezy today, so I'm going to stay at that 5 16 zone it's had. Got 40 pound braid on that medium action rod. It's that Mega Bass Deimos. Love it for my swim jigs. Simple polymer knot. There's lots of trailers you can use, but God, over the years, I just, a five inch grub, day in and day out, gets the job done for me. So it's easy to fish with what you have confidence in. Rig it nice and straight. Then finish it by putting that trailer lock on. That'll keep it pinned to the hook shank. So I'm going along the cattails, and on the 360, there's a lot of rough stuff, and it almost looks like some beds out here. So I put the raptors down, and I'm just gonna fan cast this area right in front of the boat here. I saw a movement on the live. I'm in shallow, gross water, and it's cluttered on the screen. But all you're looking for is marks to see fish. You don't have to have a perfectly clear screen. You're a lot of complaining. If you see the fish, you know it's there, and you can do something about it. I put that cast right in front of the boat that hit the bottom, worked it right where I saw that mark, and it paid off with a fish. See, I'm working the swim jig like a regular jig right now, which that's what's awesome about the versatility of it. You can do both. Lots of activity in here right now. It's a big mix of shoreline cattail bass and then some that are just off the bank a little bit. Now it's just to try to find a little more size. Mm. Boy, that one just stopped the swim jig. Some have been biting so short. Yeah, and you look a little bit bigger fish. So we're finding lots of fish up here along the cattail. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Have a fun day on the water. Size isn't the greatest, but man, you can't complain when you're getting hammered.
Oh, right down by the book. Oh. <laughs> that one hit right by the boat. Boy, a lot of these fish are already thinned out. You know, we got high 60 water temps. I know they've been on beds for a while, so. So we moved away from the cattails and there's still fish so I think they're just spread all over the shallow water here so the cattail ones are easy because you can see what you're casting to these ones here I'm just glancing at the 360 it's pretty shallow for that live to get consistency but that 360 shows you divots in the beds laying out here so you know those fish are in that little area You can see on the 360, any of these holes out here, I'm trying to get my line to, my bait to. Just kind of flying across this flat to get back to the cattails and bass keep biting. So I might as well just slow down and keep fan casting. If a fish wants to bite, I don't want to tell it not to or not give it a chance not to. We got up to the bank here and it's a little too shallow and there's a little drop right here about 50 feet off the bank. And it drops into that four feet of water and it looks like there's a lot of beds and activity. Right there. That was all the depth finder there. Once you see life out here on this edge, you know where you gotta be casting. If you're throwing your bait where the fish are not, you're not getting bit. <laughs> when they're smashing swim jigs, it's a fun bite. They're reeling it, you just kind of feel the slack hit the line. That's the fish running in the back of it towards you, pushing it towards you. See those lines on the live. Oh. That absolutely show me those fish and they're out away from the bank about a full cast. And it's just a little bit deeper and it seems like a lot of the fish like that edge. If the water's a little higher, they would be up in those cattails more, but our water's low right now, and they're pulled back to that first edge, for the most part. You can see right in front of here, those fish are gravitating towards those, and more than likely they're beds. Now I've seen other just holes in the mud bottoms or these softer bottom bays, but they are in there.
saw that one lift off the bottom on live. Hope you can see it when I show it to you. Right now it's just sniping with electronics, saving a lot of chaos. I'm out here fishing, I might as well be trying to catch. If you want to have fun, grab yourself some swim jakes, some five inch grubs, get up in shallow water, cast around, find where the fish are at, and once you find what they're holding on, you can kind of pattern it like we did today, where it's just the majority of the fish are right off the edge of the bank, and once you find that, you can just keep replicating it.